wholesale Halloween costumes, and this is the Sugar Plum Fairy from the movie Cabin in the Woods. If you guys would like to see how this look is created, then just keep watching. Starting off, I'm going to take Child's non-toxic washable glue, and I'm just going to really cake that onto my eyebrows because I want to hide them underneath so they don't show through the paint. Then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush them upward and make them nice and flat against my skin. Now that they're dry and, un and flattened, I'm going to go back over them again with another layer of the non-toxic glue. Now taking a white eyeliner, I'm just going to outline three circles around my face, one all around my digits, like my eyebrows, my mouth, and all that, then again around my nose, and another smaller one around my nose. So this is the three layers of jaw and teeth that we're going to be creating. Now with white paint, I'm just going to create little lines where I want the teeth to be. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't, you don't have to follow the picture or anything, but I did, so yeah. <laughs> and now once I have those outlined, I'm going to fill them in with very crooked, pointy, gross teeth. So the first row is going to be thick, the next row is going to be tinier. And then the very innermost row, they're going to be super tiny teeth. Once those are all done, I'm going to take a peachy colored paint and I'm going to create the little gums that cover the teeth. Starting on the outermost circle of teeth. Then going to the very inside, the very inner circle. So as you notice, I'm not outlining each individual tooth. I'm just highlighting where the light would hit it the most. So I'm following the picture more and doing the exact same thing to the center circle. Once that's all done, I'm going in with a light brown paint and I'm going to fill in the gaps between the gums making sure to take it all the way around and between the gums. Now with a light red paint, I'm gonna go over top of the brown that we just did. Mixing these two colors gives a nice look that I really, really liked. So it wasn't as harsh of a red if I just did the red. It gives kind of a deep pink, almost flesh tone look. So I really liked it. Now going to the inner circle, I'm going to go in again with the brown paint, filling in all the empty spot. Between the teeth. And then with a darker brown paint, I'm going in above the top row of the teeth to give a more depth look to it. following around again between the teeth. And then the next layer again. You'll notice that I like to layer colors because I do it very lightly so that the color shows from underneath and creates different textures and colors when the light hits it. Now covering all over my eyelids with the same dark brown paint. And now I'm going in with a black paint and filling in between each tooth. Once I have that all filled in, I'm then going in with the side of the brush and very lightly creating little lines 
to give more of a shade and shadow look of it. So taking it right across the light and dark brown as well so those can peek through. With a dark brown eyeliner, I'm going to fill in my waterline and my tight line so that none of my skin is showing around my eyes so that when I close them it looks super creepy. Now with a liquid black liner, I'm just creating the same lines that I did with the black paint, but I'm using eyeliner because the paint likes to heat up in the crease and get wet so it doesn't stay properly. Now with a light pink paint, I'm going in with a flat brush and highlighting the sides of each tooth on the gums. Now with a bright yellow eyeshadow, I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm filling in every tooth with yellow eyeshadow to give that gross decay look to them. Now with a flat, thin brush, I'm taking some brown eyeshadow and creating little lines on my chin, so two of those. Then on my forehead, I'm creating lines down to my temples, right across my forehead, kind of like a snarl lip look. So two on the chin and four on the forehead. <laughs> forehead, four. Once that's all done, take a concealer that fits your skin tone and apply it between the lines. This gives that lifted look that it's actually rippled and wrinkled. Now fill in the center part with a red and black paint mixed together. You want this to be the darkest of the whole mouth. Now with a very dark red paint, outline around the mouth and then lightly dry brush downward along the gums. Make sure you don't cover all the pink gums because then it'll just look weird. Just cover them a little. Highlight the center teeth again and the very center teeth. Then we're gonna go in again with that dark red paint and do the exact same thing of dry brushing lightly inward. With a black paint, I'm gonna outline the teeth between the tooth and the gum, and then some teeth get a little line between, kind of like cavities or creases. Gonna do that to every tooth in my mouth. With a white paint and the tip of a paintbrush, I'm lightly stippling little dots on random gums to give a kind of saliva wet look. Now with fake blood dipped in water, I'm going and I'm Filling in, just like we did with the red paint, I'm doing that dry brush look, although I use water to kind of thin out the blood, like the fake blood a bit, because it's easier to work with and gives the nice texture and that little bit of shine that you want for the grossness. Do it to every single layer and you are done. Now, I didn't have a ballerina dress, so I just painted on some brown straps with little white lines for flowers like she has in the movie. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to Wholesale Halloween Costumes, as well as check out my channel, Caitlin Krekwich, 
right there up above. You can click that link and check out other work that I create.